I know that this is this is going to sound like I'm backpedaling and that I'm excusing things. I'm not. <laughs> but you'll recall, Justin, the way Iowa plays with without an offense is, you know, it, it games like that are theoretically closer than they appear because the defense did carry Iowa. I mean, it was still a game in the third quarter at one point. I don't remember what the score was, but it was still like 14 to three. It was not a blowout. It was. I'm, I'm running to, to the box score here. I'm just saying. I, I, just saying I they held know. they held Michigan's it was, it offense. It wasn't boring. I will, I'll say this: it was pretty boring in the first half. Outside, like after the first two, um, you know, Michigan scored right away on the the Blake Corum run where JJ was blocking, and then the the Donovan Edwards pass. Outside of that, I don't think they scored for defense. Maybe, maybe it was until the third quarter. One of those was an exotic. Was it right. was a trick play? So I mean, it, it, I'm not uh, listen. You, I give credit to Jim Harbaugh for for you know throwing that trick play into the mix. I'm just saying, for the most part, minus the trick play, they allowed one touchdown. But it's so hard, as you know, to hold a really good offense in check when your offense is doing nothing, and that's just what yeah. it is. And yeah. I do believe, Justin, can we agree? I'm not saying that Iowa would have won, but the game would have been different had Iowa connected on their trick play in that first quarter. It was very close. I I said it right away, and it, it well it could have been it should have been fourteen fourteen because they should have scored when they kicked the field goal uh, as well. True. Um, so it should have been fourteen fourteen honestly. Yeah. But it did. Um, it, it didn't happen. I mean, it didn't happen. And I was you know I know Coach Patterson wasn't real happy. He went on the air during our post game show. He didn't appreciate. Um, and Coach Patterson, you know, you can call him a homer all you want. He didn't appreciate the running up the score. And I, I that, how they ran the ball. They didn't run the ball. They were running exotics. Go back and watch the tape, Justin. They were running exotics. You don't run a Big Ten championship game. You don't run exotics when you're up twenty-eight. You're you're up twenty-eight to three against one of the most respected coaches in the country, and you're running exotics. If you're listen, if you're running I formation, running into the end zone against Iowa's defense, fine. But to run trick plays late in the game, I understand why that might be a bit disrespectful, to some extent. It's the Big Ten championship game. So again, it is so not a cupcake game versus Hawaii in the beginning of the you're year. You're up twenty. Okay, explain to me. You're up twenty-eight to three. Why run exotics? Explain that to me. Because you want to know why? Because the New England Patriots beat the Atlanta Falcons in the Super Bowl up by that exact. Oh same yeah, score. yeah. Because we really believed that Iowa was going to make a comeback. That Iowa offense was going to make a Tom Brady esque. Because Spencer Petras was going to pull a Tom Brady Listen, and make a comeback. I, if I'm Jim Harbaugh, I'm making sure that there's no shot <laughs> that anything happens. Listen, they haven't been I, there in 17 years. I actually def- let me just say this. I actually somewhat defended Michigan after that. Don was upset about it, and he called him out. And I just said, Don, in their defense, they're trying for playoff positioning. All right, right. And, and I gave them that. But I, I, I'm just saying, I trying to look at it from both perspectives. I can see why I can. You at least acknowledge why some Iowa coaches especially kirk might be a feel a bit offended by the fact that you're running exotics in that situation if you're running at the score because you're just running it down our throats that's one thing can you at least understand the other side i mean what i guess define exotics because i i'm having trouble I, going back and remembering exactly because like, I, I would have to go back pass plays and, and you're uh-huh. also hitting on a key point here Corey. this is not a game between two four and seven teams that are playing out the string it's the last game of the year or it's some bowl game there was a playoff game in which Michigan's vying for a number one seed. They didn't get it, but had they gotten it, they are playing Cincinnati. They're and the they are going game. to play in the national championship. That's game. why I just acknowledge that. I'm just saying I, I did defend, I did defend Jim Harbaugh, but I'm just saying I can see the other side of it because the game was over, and I don't know how much does 42 to three look better than 28 to three. You dominated either way. That's all I'm saying. I, I'm I, not a crying over. I, I haven't brought that up one time since it happened, but I just, you know, we were talking about it. So I figured I'd you, throw that back into the, the first mix. thing you brought up, Corey. <laughs> come on, come on. Um, yeah. I mean, listen, I, I can see that. Like if it's, but I, I didn't, I was there the whole time. I, I watched it. I was loving every second of it, obviously, but I, I didn't feel that they were like pulling out every stop. Um, I thought that they kept, you know, pushing. It wasn't, it wasn't go three and out, but um, yeah, the whole they were trying to get positioning for that number one spot. Um, also, like to me, you're you're playing in the Big Ten championship game. Like my response is score more. If you don't want to get blown out, then score more. They don't um, have the ability to score. <laughs> well, that's not my fault. <laughs> I understand. I understand. 